Give me five minutes and I'll give you five reasons to buy this or not. Bull Run Distilling Company. This is their American whiskey finished in Nochino barrels, which they got a picture of a walnut here, so I think it's some kind of walnut liqueur. Uh, I've never run across anything Nochino, so I had to kind of like look into it a little bit. And what I know about it, walnut liqueur is about it. I think it's Spanish. Um, but anyways, uh, this was bottled exclusively for Sprayberry Bottle Shop. So that means if you're not in the Atlanta area, oh well. But we're still going to review it because I'm very interested in this and very interested in putting this up against Dave Vogelsang's bull run that uh, he gave me in a sample a while back. This is 126 proof. Oh my. So availability? Well, I, I, I hate to get... Basically, one basically says it's not available. Well, it is available if you're in Georgia or you have a friend in Georgia. So it's going to get a two, like other store picks that I've... Uh, reviewed uh, that are only in Georgia. So a two for availability, but what about the aroma, Mike? Oh, wow. That is really got a sweet, nutty profile. Any surprise there? That is nice. You know, I, um, I really don't eat walnuts or eat anything in walnuts. I know what walnuts smell like, and this is not it. This is something different. Very sweet, nutty, a little bit of oak, and maybe some baking spices there. Mmm, it's got a very nice aroma. I'm going to have to give uh, the aroma three and a half stars. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what the palette's like. Cheers. Oh, my. That is very savory and sweet and viscous. Uh, you get a uh, nuttiness, to, but to me it's more like a, a roasted pecan than a, uh, a walnut. I, I really don't pick up the walnut. I do get a sweet roasted nut in there along with some uh, molasses brown sugar. Taste. Taste. I'm going to have to give the taste four stars. That is delicious, and that 15-year maturity comes through. It's a very well-balanced bourbon, even with all that pepper at first. The finish. Um, I'm left with some uh, nuttiness and baking spices and vanilla. Uh, it is pretty damn good. Um, I would also have to give uh, three and a half stars on the finish, which gets us, gets us to value. Well... I paid $89.99 for it, and I have a lot of finished bourbons in the 69 to 79 range that I think are equally as tasty, equally as good. Not as mature as a 15, so that's one of the reasons you're going to pay higher. So you are going to pay higher for an older, uh, a more age-stated bourbon. So I would say that the price or the value is fair. Uh, neither bad nor good, right in the middle. Um, so I'm going to give the uh, value three stars. Now on to our overall score. What do we think of this? How much do we like it? I'm going to have to give this bourbon four stars. It is delicious. I think the more it opens up, uh, the less the proof, because it's like 126 proof, I think the less the proof will affect me, maybe the pepper will tone down a little bit, and I'll like it even more if it opens up. So I think a solid four-star bourbon. So we hope you will like this video, comment, and share, and tell me if you've got a bull run, especially if in any of their custom finishes like this one. So as always, please drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and we'll see you next time. Give me five reasons or I'm going to drink this. <laughs>